Yo, what some boy feel like? Them know so when them see me sail at five scar ten. Them career not start well. Gunshots send them to hell. Forty-five hostel. So today is Saturday, October fourteenth, and I'm gonna go to the beach because it is so 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 hot. But I'm gonna meet a YouTuber subscriber. One of my subscribers down there and have lunch maybe swim i'm dressed to swim i don't know if she's gonna swim but as you can see i changed locations mr deja was on his period or something so i'll be here for a couple days but i will film more maybe on the way walking to the beach but um i'll be there shortly I don't know if I'll do a review on this place or not, because probably not. If you need a really cheap place, well, it's not even cheap. For the beach, I guess it's cheap, because it's $40 a night, but. Um. <clears throat> so this, it's a little marker that I like to use one mile. Um, it's right by drifters bar but it's also a little grocery and I think they usually have patties but I went there the other day and they didn't have any <sighs> it's so flipping hot like I thought with California being 111 that this hot weather wouldn't be anything for me this is fucking hot. So, going over here. I hate filming this way because I feel like it's so bouncy because I'm trying to walk in the sand. But, oh, I can't wait to get to Bourbon and get in the water. Ooh, there's a better breeze over here. Thank God. But this is Merrill's 2, and then it's not that far down to, um, down to Bourbon. Probably like three minutes walking, something like that. But Merrill's is, Merrill's 2 is right here. And then Yellowbird is right next to it. Yellowbird has um, drink specials. I think there's this, their happy hour is like two for one all the time. So I'm just gonna keep. Ooh, parasailing. Look, look, look. Someday I'm gonna do that. This is Merrill's 3. I don't know why they do that. Merrill's 1, 2, and 3. I don't know. But Bourbon Beach is right where the blue the blue awnings are. So that's where I'm gonna spend the day. I'm like this far out and it's only like to my knees so there's things in the water that I don't know what the hell these things are they look like little sand tornadoes or something I don't know gotta cool up
always like a dip off. Like a step down. your hole? You can go back in there. No, 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 no. Out the door. Oh, it's eating all my mosquitoes. I think.
Monday, October 16th, and um, I just ordered some breakfast, an egg sandwich and some tea, so I don't know what I'm going to be doing today, but I will be posting egg sandwich was 300 and the tea was 100 so it's a pretty decent breakfast light um, it is so hot well I can't say it's hot because technically I'm going through menopause right now so hot all the time So I'm going to wait for Mr. Deja to call me because I don't have any credit right now to call him. But now he wants to hang out. So we're slowly working it out. Maybe we'll work it out. Maybe we won't. I mean, I don't know. Here comes Punchy. Dog is so funny. Punchy. Punchy. That's not the mean one though. There's a white one. That dog is crazy on crack. So I'm sitting outside with the fan on me. Mosquitoes are still eating me alive here. I should have videotaped the kids last night. They were hilarious. <clears throat> but we're going to play Uno today, so I'll ask their mom if we can, um, if I can videotape them. But I think they're doing their chores. Today's Heroes Day, so it's a holiday. They don't have, today's Monday, and they don't have school till Wednesday. So I hope Christopher wants to, oh, I want to do a photo shoot today. That would be fun. I'm almost out of data, but the, what did I pay? I think I paid 17 or 18. I, I don't remember if I told you guys, but it, when I went to do. So I paid for four gig for the month on my phone, and it's pretty close, like pretty close to using the four gig in the month. All right, somebody's messaging me; they want their toes done. All right, I will talk to you guys later. So let's do a story time. I had a crazy dream. Like, usually when I dream, it's crazy anyway. But last night, oh my God, it was so real because like, okay, it was about an octopus and I could feel like the pressure. But anyway, so 
I'm at this either school or some type of YMCA or something with a pool, right? And for some reason, there's an octopus in there, right? <laughs> and I can't remember if I caught it or if it just came up to me, but it attached itself like around my waist. So the head of it was on my stomach and then the tentacles were all around my sides and stuff. And I thought it was cool, and I was walking around and showing everybody, and um, I didn't want it, sorry, I didn't want it to, to kill it to get it off, right? So um, I'm just walking around. But you know, if you've ever seen a Discovery Channel show about an octopus, an octopus can fit itself in like like sneak through any holes or anything as long as it's the size of the beak of the octopus. So this octopus starts to go up my ass. This is in my dream, okay? This is not for real. But the little, um, you know, it's squeezing tighter and tighter. And I'm trying to wiggle around and it put one of its tentacle. Thank God it didn't go in my vagina. That would have been a crazy fucking dream. But it starts going in my butt. And I'm like, this whole octopus is about to go in my ass. Could you imagine? What are you going to do? Whether it's a dream or not, seriously. What would you do if an octopus started to make its way into your ass? You can't pull it off. Those suction cups are ridiculously hot, are tight. You can't just pull it off. You'd have to kill it. So anyway, in my dream, in this pool, they're also doing classes for these dogs, right? And for some reason, these dogs are under the water holding their breath, and they're giving them treats under the water. Like they're fish. I don't fucking know. My dreams are really, really weird. Um, but if I don't tell them right away, like I forget what it's about. So there's four dogs taking the class. And I'm like, let me get in the water. Because I had been walking around for a while with this octopus on me. And that's probably why I was trying to find somewhere to hide. So I walk down the steps and I get in the water. And it loosened up a little bit. And it actually moved around to the other side. And then I kind of like, because I didn't want to touch its head. So I kind of slowly like pushed it and got it off of me. But we're in a pool. This octopus needs to get to ocean or a zoo or wherever it came from. So it starts to swim away towards the dogs. And I'm like, oh, shit. But I, th I didn't think the dogs were going to do anything because they're trained. They're working on training these dogs. So I thought they'd have some sense. So it goes past the first dog, gets to the second dog, and the dog just chewed the shit out of the octopus, like, right in front of me. I'm bawling my eyes out. Like, I can't... I was trying to scream to tell them to get the dog out of the water. And my voice... I couldn't even... I couldn't even scream. It was so sad. <laughs> but for those of you who know me, I love octopus. I have three octopus tattoos. I just love them. They're, the, they're crazy creatures. But... Um, and that is my story of time for today. <laughs> and I just wanted to, you know, say a story because I haven't been filming at all because I've been having issues as usual. Well, not as usual, but it's, Jamaica's different this time. It really is. And I don't know if I'm re relationship material. I've actually never been been in a relationship but I mean I've been married but that doesn't count because he was in the Navy and he was never there so I really don't know what I'm doing <laughs> oh, my nails look so good so today all the kids that are staying here um, 
went to the beach, so I have no company. So I don't know what I'm going to do today. But that's how I woke up this morning. Like, screaming and crying about an octopus. <laughs> it was so pretty, though. It was like oranges and... Actually, it was like the color of this curtain. Ooh, mosquito. I don't know why these mosquitoes hide in my clothes. Bring like three cans of mosquito spray. If you bring, I should have brought the 100% DEET and just called it a day. I wonder if I can get that shit here, but... There's a mosquito stuck in my room. So I'm gonna smoke it out with some toilet paper and get ready and go do something so I can record something for you today. But if not, you had the story time and I will see you guys in the next clip. Bye. <laughs>
upside down, but then I dump them all on my lap. And that's not good. But they're good. Banana chips. They're probably better for you than potato chips. Let me show you what they look like. My boobs are jiggling.